2018 fair, and I think you're already going to start seeing some, some changes. Uh, it's really neat to have a governor that loves the fairgrounds like the rest of us. And uh, so you can see when you come in, we got roads and we got things happening at the Coliseum. And it's just things that uh, we're really proud of and makes us exciting. If you look at the, look at the fairgrounds, you feel it's clean, the flowers look great, and it's just a pleasant place to be. I'll, this time though, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, introduce some guests. Of course, you, we'll hear from the governor pretty soon. We got 11 San Quiddy, yeah, I'm sorry, San Quiddy, the Lieutenant Governor, Director Wayne Rosenthal, and the County Chair Queen, Samantha uh, Hasselbring. You know, she got, the, she got the pink memo today. Uh, uh, and then we have uh, Sarah Wojcicki. Uh, Sarah took my place in the, in the house and did a great job. And we got Senator Bill Brady, the leader, Republican leader in the Senate. We're glad to have him here. Uh, Representative Tim Butler and uh, Senator Brady and Representative Butler, they actually represent the fairgrounds. Uh, we also have Sue Shear that represents part of Springfield and uh, lives in Decatur. And then did Rodney make it, Davis? Yeah, yeah. Rodney's here. Well, I see you on TV and I never know where you're at. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, and then we got the Grand Marshals, Rob, Robert Wiseman family. Is Robert here? There they are. Uh, today our next speaker is going to be uh, uh, the, uh, just a remarkable young lady. And you know, you think as uh, senators and representatives, you have to travel around a lot. But Samantha has traveled all over this state representing agriculture, county fairs, and she's just a real trooper. So please join me in welcoming uh, our official host of the 2018 State Fair, Miss Illinois County Fair Queen, Samantha Hasselbring. Got to give the wave, of course. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Director Poe. And I, of course, love the outfit coordination. Who wouldn't want to match with the Director <laughs> of Agriculture? Uh, but thank you so much for having me today. It's been so fun to travel the state of Illinois and get to go to these county fairs, but what better way to end my summer than ending at the Illinois State Fair? I'm so excited to be here our first day here. And it's been such a family tradition for me and my family to come to the State Fair. And it's just such a blessing that I get to come back, not only as a civilian, but as Miss Illinois County Fair Queen. If you see me throughout the week, I will be here all 10 days, morning through night. So don't forget to stop by, say hi. If you have kids, I love to get out of the car and take pictures. So if you see me, please say hi. It'll make my entire week just so much more enjoyable. So again, thank you so much for having me today. And I'm so blessed and thankful to be the official hostess of the Illinois State Fair. And again, if you see me, please say hi and let's enjoy the rest of our fair week. Isn't she a great host? Uh, now on the program, I'd like to uh, turn it over to the manager, Luke Saylor, and his team. And both of them did a great job this year getting getting everything happen. And many of you know we had we had 30, 40,000 people in the fairgrounds last weekend. And to get that fairgrounds back up and in shape, Luke and his uh, team has, did a great job. So uh, uh, let's let Luke ha say a few words and maybe tell you a little bit what's going to happen. Thank you, Director Poe, greatly appreciate that. Well, thank you all so much for coming out today. What a beautiful day it is to officially start the 2018 Illinois State Fair. So excited to have you all with us today. It's going to be a great fair week. I can promise you that. Uh, our team has been working around the clock getting prepared for this. Uh, you know, people ask me, you know, a lot. They're like, you know, what, what, what do you do? And I go, well, I, I have the honor of being the, the state fair manager. They go, is that a, is that a full-time job? You know, it, it completely is. Our team, we have a wonderful group of people that work behind me here. Uh, not just a group of people, our dignitaries and stuff behind me, but, but our buildings and grounds, my internal team, our ag leaders. Uh, it's a true team effort, and I just want to thank them for all their hard work and efforts. So once again, welcome to the State Fair. 
So excited to have you guys. This is our state's 200th birthday. Uh, so we're very excited to be celebrating our, our Illinois Bicentennial. It's 200 years of amazing. Uh, you know, with that, we have so much in Illinois agriculture, and that's what we are celebrating here today. We're not only celebrating Illinois, but we're celebrating Illinois agriculture. That's what you're going to get to see around every corner of the fairgrounds. You're going to get to see Bicentennial in the, in the statehood celebration uh, together as one, one state, and we're very excited about that. Uh, you know, from, from Bicentennial Speaker Series to, to having the 1818 beer that we had last year here uh, now for sale. Uh, you know, this is a great time to celebrate Illinois, celebrate Illinois agriculture, with agriculture being our number one state, you know, our number one industry in our state. Uh, this is the perfect showcase for that, and we're so honored and privileged that you guys can come and share that with us. And with that same breath, we have a, a wonderful uh, family with us here today that we're so honored uh, in our bicentennial year to celebrate them as well. Uh, they are the Wiseman family, and they have had their farm for over 200 years. Uh, so it's just a fantastic <laughs> to, to have them. So just, just fantastic, you know, what, what an honor and privilege it is to have you, sir. We, we thank you uh, so much for that. Uh, we want you to, to, to cherish this and, and celebrate with us, and we thank you for being here. Uh, Robert Wiseman and his family, whose farm is outside of Belmont in Wabash County, is celebrating its 200th year. This Wiseman farm has been owned by the same family for the past 200 years, and we are honored to name them the Bicentennial Farm this year. There's no... There's no greater way to, to celebrate the Twilight Parade and the Illinois State Fair than having our, our 200 year farmers. So, so thank you guys for all you do and, and thank you for, for celebrating Illinois agriculture with us. So thank you. thank you. So at this time I'd like to turn over the mic to a man that, that knows this fairgrounds just as good as my staff and I. Uh, and that's because he had the privilege of, of being able to be our neighbor for a little over a year. So we're we're so happy to, uh, you know, to have had him on the grounds and had him be staying with us while the beautiful new uh, People's House was being redone. Uh, but very excited to have him here with us today, and I know he'll be with, that, with, be with us throughout the entire fair. Uh, someone that is uh, a huge fan and advocate of Illinois agriculture, it's my distinct honor to, to welcome Governor Bruce Rauner. What a great day, one of the great days of the year, the opening of the Illinois State Fair. Let's hear it for the fair. Yeah. One of the great states fair anywhere in the United States of America. This is our 165th year of the Illinois State Fair, one of the most beautiful, biggest, best state fairs anywhere in America. We're so proud, one of the best fairgrounds. We're fixing it up, we got new roads, we got new paving, we're fixing up the Coliseum. And you know what, we're so proud of this place. It was an honor for me and my wife to live here last year. It was a special time. We lived here for one year, 13 months, if we were a little more creative, we would have thought to do uh, a fundraiser for the Fair Foundation. We could have charged 10 bucks to look in our windows last year during the fair. We didn't think of that, but we should have done it. But this year, we don't have, we're not living on the fairground, so when you come over to the Ag Director's house, you can still go over there and knock and look around. We, this year, we're going to actually be sleeping because we'll be over at the mansion. But we want to welcome everybody. Come on out. This is one of the great fairs, great rides. We've got something now, first time, Crazy Mouse. The first time we got a roller coaster at the Illinois State Fair. Come ride the Crazy Mouse. We got the Thrills. We got the BMX motorcycles. We got some of the best bands in America coming here. Great concerts, delicious food, great rides. Come on out and enjoy. Bring your family. Bring your friends. We got people from all over the state, all over the country. Come to Springfield, Illinois, one of the greatest fairs in the world right here, right now. This is a great time to celebrate, especially on our 200th birthday. 200 years of everything that's great about our state. Everything bi born, built, and grown in the state of Illinois, and nothing better than agriculture in the state of Illinois. Agriculture is the basis of our foundation. Our farm families are the basis for our prosperity. We're so proud of our farm families in this state. Let's have one more round of applause for the Wiseman family. 200 years, 200 years of the same farm in Wabash County. 
And I'm proud. My, my uh, parents are all uh, grandparents, dairy farmers, corn farmers. My family comes from agriculture. I'm personally very proud of this, very proud of our agriculture families in this state, all for our farmers. Everything we can do to help our farm families, we're all in. And this fair celebrates our farm families, celebrates the tradition of agriculture, but also the innovation, the creativity, the hard work, the faith family, the values of, of the people of Illinois celebrated this great fair. Come on in and enjoy, everybody. We're going to cut the ribbon now. and. Oh, Come on in. This is the time to celebrate. Let's cut the ribbon. Again, thank you, everybody, for coming. And I seem to do it every year. But I forget someone, and I forgot to introduce Mayor Langfelder. Thank you. Okay, ready? 2018.